If you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Or if gift cards and game keys are more your thing, check out Aniba.com, link in the description. You can get one euro for signing up using my link. Definitely check them out. They sell gift cards and FIFA point codes for cheaper than their market price. Like I said, link in the description. How is it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is some team of the season news as I don't think we are that far away from team of the season anymore. As you guys know, we are in mid-April, which means we are probably maybe in a normal year, about a month, month and a half away from team of the season. However, I don't think this is a normal year. As you can tell by the background, EA have the license to the UEFA Champions League this year. They have the full license to the UEFA Champions League and the UEFA Europa League. So it makes me think that EA are going to have a big ass promo for Champions and Europa League finals, which could cover the normal time of team of the season and bring team of the season forward. There's a lot of reasoning behind that speculation, one of which being the fact they've dropped so many Icon SPCs so early. It seems they're trying to get all of those out the way for a potential huge promo team of the season coming in the next couple of weeks that's what the idea is and i'm thinking ea might have it a little bit you know they have it tucked under their sleeve but i think that they're going to be bringing it out very soon i think that's why they wanted to release all the prime icon spcs get a load of people to wipe all their coins off the market to invest all their coins into the icon spcs and then boom drop team of the season try and get people to spend loads of thief points that's how they recommend that's what i'm thinking is going to happen that's my uh my notion, I think I think that's probably what, the, it's just a good idea of what's going to happen. That's what I guess is what's going to happen. And I think a lot of other people in the community think the exact same thing. So I thought we'd take a nice deep dive into Team of the Season last year and see what we can expect, what kind of times they came out and what sort of, you know, ranks we got. Ranks we got, uh, what's the word? Order, what kind of order we got in terms of Team of the Season and whatnot. I thought we'd have a quick look at that and, uh, and I think it'd be quite fun. So let's jump straight into it. So I've got some videos of my own. These are my own videos. Uh, I wanted to go and delve into some of my own videos and have a look at some of the uh, some of the requirements for the SPCs we got because obviously last year we got ourselves uh, two guaranteed Team of the Seasons uh, packs per Team of the Season every single Sunday and Tuesday, I believe it was. Uh, we would get uh, a guaranteed on Sunday, guaranteed on Tuesday for that specific league. Uh, and then I believe on the Wednesday, we got the guaranteed rest of the world team this season, which not a whole lot of people completed. I personally didn't complete a lot of them because they just weren't worth it, to my, in my opinion. They just didn't have good enough rest of the world team of seasons. Um, and you didn't get to pick from them. I'm guessing this year it'll be player picks instead. Um, but I wanted to have a look at some of the requirements we got because they were pretty damn easy. So for the Premier League one, it was two team of the season. Uh, sorry. Uh, two Premier League players, a team of the season player, an 83 rating for a guaranteed Premier League team of the season player. That, in my opinion, is pretty damn good value. And uh, if we have a look at the players that we could get, there was a lot of good team of the seasons. I'll show you who I got from it. Um... This is the person that I got from it. I remember actually opening this as well. I literally remember this so well. Um, so the team of the season player that I actually got from the Premier League team of the season was in fact Nemanja Matic. Um, and for a 92 rated card, for the cost that it was, it literally didn't cost me anything. So it cost me something, but it didn't cost me a lot. I remember it though, and it was a really good value for money SBC. Uh, we also got, for example, this is the League Untops pack. Um, it was literally, I think, all the same rating, all the same requirements across the board. Just swap in different players, you know, like an 82 rated for the lower league, an 83 rated for the higher league, and then swap in, you know, two League Un players or two Premier League players or two Bundesliga players. And as you can see, we got pretty decent looking this one as well. We got ourselves uh, Roussillon, um, who's a really good looking card. If you look, that's actually an incredible looking left back card. Um, and they were really good value for money. EA did really, really well with these uh, guaranteed teams. Team of the season SBCs. Alongside it, on the I believe it was the Friday of every week, we got ourselves. Um, thankfully, we got ourselves the uh, the 25k premium player packs for league specific. Now it took a couple of weeks for EA to actually bring them in. I believe uh, I remember this as well. Me and we're in the foot market were complaining so much on Twitter because EA hadn't released them, and then EA finally released them, and uh, and uh, we went ham on them. And they, didn't, they didn't even give us good luck, to be honest. They weren't even that lucky. Um, but we got those alongside, you know, occasionally 81 plus packs because EA were looking to release, uh, as you remember, the World Cup game mode and stuff like that. So uh, everything came all of a sudden really 
really quickly, really early. Towards the end of team of the season as well, we got ourselves an ultimate team of the season pack, which in my opinion was the best one of all of them. These were uh, ultimate team of the season packs. I'll show you uh, in a second the uh, requirements for them. I'll show you who I got though. I got myself a Mohamed Salah, 98 rated, I think it was, 98 rated. That card was absolutely insane, but the requirements for these weren't even that difficult either. Uh, if I go and have a look quickly for the ultimate team of the season, SBC, uh, we want to back out really quick. Ultimate tots, the requirements were not bad at all. Uh, two team of the season players, an 83 rating minimum, and 75 chemistry. It was really, really easy. I actually remember submitting an inform into this uh, because I literally just had him in the club. He was untradeable and had no value for me, so I thought I'd submit an inform, and you managed to even use silvers if you used high enough rated team of the season. So I remember using this card as well. Probably shouldn't have submitted Awa. I, I think that's how you say his name. Um, but I remember last year I had a specific team, and there was no need for me to uh, to use him and i'll show you guys my team right here uh this is the team that i used to use last year oh no this is my league and team never mind um I did have a team that was specific, but this wasn't the team. Anyway, uh, an 83 rating minimum with two team of seasons for, uh, for an ultimate tots pack, in my opinion, was pretty good value for money. This is what the Premier League starting 11 team of the season looked like last year. It was a decent... Also, this is FIFA 70's team of the season, but it's a decent looking team of the season nonetheless. Uh, in terms of what I think the team of the season this year is going to look like, I made a little prediction, which I'll show you in just a second. Usually... The order that it goes in, though, is they release the EFL and the uh, most consistent team of the season uh, concurrently at the same time. Um, or they'll bring out the EFL and then two days later they'll bring out the uh, the most consistent. They change it every year. But the most consistent is essentially most consistent players this year to not receive an inform. For example, Fabianski or Edison have both been incredibly consistent this year and never received an inform. There's just two examples right there. Uh, so players that have been incredibly consistent but haven't received a team uh, an inform or a special card for their uh, for their efforts. Uh, EA likes to call them community team of the seasons. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because. I don't get why they're community in the seasons when it's the, it's the most consistent, but EA like to whack the word community on everything. Apparently, even when they mess up, they whack the word community on it these days. So who knows with EA? Um, but they release them, and then it goes Premier League, and then we usually get, I don't know, usually it's it's like it's Liga or Bundesliga, uh, then it's La Liga. Uh, but the, last year, they changed it a little bit, and I think they did La Liga after Premier League, and then Liga and Bundesliga. And then some years, they've released Liga and Bundesliga at the same time. And then some years, they've released Ligue 1 and, and Pro League at the same time or the Benelou team this season uh, with Eredivisie in there as well. They like to change it a lot but usually it goes uh, most consistent then Premier League then one of the other two, uh, one of the other four leagues. Uh, Serie A likes to come in there at uh, you know, the second or third spot as well. So in my opinion, the way it will work this year, I think it will go most consistent Premier League, these are just the, the, the important leagues, most consistent than Premier League. Then, in my opinion, I think it will go Ligue 1, Serie A, La Liga, Bundesliga. I think that is the uh, the order that it will go in. Uh, we could see Bundesliga second this year or third this year. And the reason I say that is because obviously EA have a partnership with Bundesliga now, uh, bringing the Bundesliga player of the month and whatnot. Um, however, I can't see it happening, to be honest, because the Bundesliga doesn't look like it's going to have... It's going to have a great team of the season, but it's not going to have the likes of the Serie A team of the season with team of the season Ronaldo in, for example. And EA have got to think about, you know, rinsing everyone's pockets as early and quickly as possible. So that's that's why I think, personally, uh, the Serie A or the Liga will come first. Now, in terms of my team of the season prediction, let's have a quick look. This is my team of the season prediction. As you can see, the starting 11, we have got Hazard, Aguero, Bamiang, Salah, Pogba, Silva, Eriksen, Robertson, Van Dijk, Laporte and Alisson. Now, I have gone with only a three back because although I do believe, you know, Trent could have got one, uh, Digne could have also got one, uh, Chilwell should be in there maybe, Lindelof could be in there maybe, although slightly biased, I will admit, um, Alder Verold could be in there, you know, with all, all possibility. The reason I've gone with a three back is because I think that EA are going to do a bunch of SBCs and objectives this year. They seem very SBC and objective orientated, so I think they could possibly be doing that this year. Uh, but this is my team of the season prediction. Um, I do think EA will be giving away some big team of the season this year in objectives. I really do think EA will give away some big cards for free because EA seem very uh, giving away orientated as well this year. They seem to be giving away cards left, right and centre. So I can see them giving away some big names for free. Maybe like a Harry Kane or something could be given away for free. Who knows? Uh, I would just look out for objectives when team of the season does come out. Um, but I think this could be what the team of the season looks like. The Premier League team of the season will look like something like this, I think. Um, and it will look pretty incredible to be fair. Uh, obviously, there are going to be some lower rated team of the seasons in there. For example, Lindelof, Chilwell, Fabianski. Because EA doesn't want to... Everyone that packs a team of the 
reason to be packing a Salah or a, a Bamiyang or someone of that stature or, or level. So uh, that's why I think there's going to be a few lower rated ones in there. But in my opinion, this is what it will look like. And I think we will get everything we got last year in terms of guaranteed tots packs and, 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 and uh, you know, the, the SBCs. We got ultimate packs and stuff like that. Um, and given that they've released all the icons, I can see it coming pretty soon. So I wanted to bring this video, talk to you guys about that. If you have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Let me know if you're excited for the season because I am. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.